bicycle is a momentum machine. Hey there, bike blogger here. Here's my bike. I've converted it to single speed now. One chain ring, one cog in the back. I got a bunch of spacers back there to space out the cog to make it straight with the front sprocket there. Uh, no rear derailleur. I got the right number of links here in the chain that I don't have to use a rear derailleur or a chain tensioner. So that's nice. Uh, and I got my brakes in front. And that's it. My single speed conversion. Let's ride. Da 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 da. On my way to work. Bike vlogger here. Oh, so happy. I converted this bike back to single speed. When I started this channel, it was single speed converted. And uh, then I converted it to two speed. Now it's back to one speed. Really happy with that. So I tried out two speed for a while. I actually tried out uh, like a 20 speed or whatever this bike was before when I bought it with all the gears. And then uh, I don't know, I found that I didn't really like it. So now we're going back to single speed. I got a good chain line, I think. Uh, the drivetrain on this bike is really quiet. So, loving that. Single speed is perfect if you live in a relatively flat area, like where I live. And if you don't, it's not super flat. You can sort of learn your own city and the best route to go to uh, avoid all the worst hills. If you, you know, maybe you might have to add some miles on your commute, but you might be able to figure out a way to get from point A to point B and to point C without dealing with all the you know, worst hills. Feeling better. I've been sick lately. Uh, pretty sick. Coughing a lot. I need to uh, need to take better care of myself. <laughs> By that I mean I just need to bundle up properly. Let's make a uh, a right here. I think these people are gonna get a green light. That's perfect because that gives me plenty of time to make a right there. There's absolutely no one behind me, so I can make a left, then I can make another left, and then I make another left <laughs> into the turning lane. Because we're gonna go this way, back behind this business. I like to sneak behind businesses a lot. Can be dangerous with blind spots. Uh, honestly, the best place to be is right in the middle of the road because uh, you're most visible. But there are distracted drivers, so. and it's just quieter, less windy, less pollution. That's why I usually like to ride behind the businesses. So my arm is feeling pretty good since my fall a month ago. Um, but yeah, I've just been sick for the past like two weeks almost. You know, really coughing and uh, sore throat. All that goodness. <laughs> uh. Bicycle is 
a momentum machine. Now in past videos, and I'm talking well over a year ago, I had a, uh, this bike was single speed back then, and I had an issue where the chain would just like keep falling off. Uh, I basically figured out the chain was just stretching, i.e. wearing, and uh, the thing with that is uh, every few hundred miles I gotta replace the chain unless I put on a chain tensioner because the chain just wears it's a lot more uh, work on a chain when you're just riding one speed especially up hills it's pretty cold I got two layers on. It felt warmer earlier, but it's not a uh, not right now. My bike computer's annoying me a little because it's a little cockeyed. It's a little slant. I think I just fixed it. Just moved it. Does that ever bother you? You know, when something doesn't seem. 100% straight. Obviously, you need your wheels straight. But like, if your saddle isn't perfectly in alignment, if your bars aren't in perfectly alignment with your front wheel, like when you're messing with the headset, doesn't that just drive you crazy? I don't know. It doesn't mean maybe. Maybe that's a little OCD. <laughs> Obsessive compulsive. Yeah, so I want to try and take it easy today. I don't want to get sick again. So, no overdoing it today, bike vlogger. No overdoing it. And now I am unfortunately filling my arm again. It's just going to be a little while, I think. Until I'm 100%. If uh, you haven't seen my recent videos, I fell off my bike and had to get a bunch of stitches on my arm. They've been out for a couple weeks now, but man, oh man. It's still a recovery period, you know. You can't push it too hard. Yeah, this single speed is awesome. This is so cool. Oh my gosh, why did I ever convert it to multi-speed again? This is just perfect, you know, I mean, this is my, uh... This is my rain bike, basically. Got the fenders, the disc brakes, it doesn't need a lot of speeds. It doesn't really need any speeds. Except for one. <laughs> for me, at least. Because, I mean, if you see where I'm riding right now, you know, it's pretty darn flat. There's the occasional hill here or there, which I like. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad I don't live in a super flat area. Because, uh, hills mix it up, for sure. Add a little more, uh, a little more exercise to the commute. A little more of a challenge. And I like a good challenge. Because when you complete it, you feel a good sense of satisfaction that you Even though commuting by bike is a success in its own, getting from point A to point B under your own human power, human strength alone. So how did I convert this bike to single speed? I'll have to do a video on it later. Basically, Basically, you got to just line up your front chain ring with the rear cog in the back, a sprocket in the back. And you want to get it as much in a line as you can. 
because if the chain line is just a little wrong, it won't work. This is a cool off period. This is when I just go real slow, let my body catch up with uh, my heart, try to get the sweat to stop. Usually not an issue when it's cold. You don't sweat as much. But still, if you got too many layers on, you can sweat quite a bit. If you don't have the right kind of layers on, i.e. if you're wearing cotton, all that sweat's just going to be absorbed by your shirt or pants or whatever. So you're going to be hauling it around. And it's going to actually make it colder in the wind. Right now we're cooling down. We're almost to work. Thanks for watching. See you next time.